won't be hard for you guys to guess. We're headed to a doctor's appointment. <laughs> we are always headed to a doctor's appointment, it feels like. Um, we are 30 weeks this week. Baby's the size of a cantaloupe or a platypus, whichever you prefer. <laughs> Our appointments are every two weeks, and so that's where we're headed today. Um, hopefully the baby is already head down. I've been feeling her move a ton and shift around, so um, fingers crossed. We're getting close to the end here. Hopefully the doctor has all good news for us, but we'll keep you guys in the loop. Catching up to me. <laughs> About 20, 20 pounds. Easy breezy. So far, so good. Yeah. No, 30 weeks are still in that, you know, feeling good. Stage. Yeah, yeah. I think I feel like I start seeing that kind of decline a little bit around 36 weeks. Yeah. People are like, okay, <laughs> get this out of me. <laughs> no, I'm not quite there yet. I'm still feeling good. Good, good. No, that's a good thing. Um, so I guess last visit you had your diabetes screen, looked great. Okay, good. You passed it with flying colors. Yeah, I know. Good job. Gold star. Blood, blood count looked good, you're not anemic. Okay, so good. That's kind of why we, we look we look at that in each trimester because anemia is really common in pregnancy. And so the ice, it's yeah. okay. It's okay. Just I'm chewing ice anemic. because you I'm chew ice. Just like ice. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, no, I mean, you, um, okay, so do you have a pediatrician picked out? Um, no, I don't yet. So, I mean, honestly, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, kind of just whoever you decide on, I would recommend calling them before you deliver and just okay. making sure they're accepting newborns. Okay. We need to get you guys a permanently affixed pillow to the top here. I know, that would be nice. I'm constantly, actually, usually if I can catch y'all before you lay down, I'll try to move it up. Do y'all have any questions? Mm, I don't think so. I was gonna ask sometimes for my. Oh, there we go. Yes. Yeah, my favorite. Got it right on her heart too. Questions? I don't think so. The other one's about my newbus, but you already said that, so perfect. Yeah. I think we're all good. Just nervous about that. I'm like, usually no we news is good you. news. Exactly. Yeah. We would have called you. No news is good news. It's very true. I definitely feel she's changing positions on me. She's moved or getting bigger. I don't know which, and I just yeah. can feel her more. She's always sitting yeah. over here and moving up here. I don't know what, this might be the foot. I don't know. <laughs> or yeah, or the knee, or yeah, her butt's probably hanging out on the other side. So yeah. Yeah, it's probably her legs for <laughs> sure. But um, at least it's not like her hand and she's breached, you know. Yeah, so, hopefully. We'll be able to, you know, when we start checking your cervix, if we have any question about presentation, like if the head is down or not, we'll look and see. Okay. An ultrasound, so. Okay, okay, that sounds good. All right. Well, we made it home from our doctor's appointment. It's late tonight. We had to do a wardrobe change because we <laughs> I left in a long sleeve shirt and that was not a good idea. Yeah, we technically we went to the mall and bought an outfit. 
We didn't like what we were wearing. It was kind of warm. And Candace put on a long sleeve shirt. And I, I was don't like, know it's going to be really thinking. warm today. And yeah. she's like, You didn't tell me that? And I was like, Well, I thought it was going to be cold. So yeah. I was wearing a long sleeve shirt. And then I was sweating. So that was not good. And Cody had tacos. We had tacos. And Cody spilled taco sauce on his shirt. So I got all over my pants and my shirt. So wardrobe change. That. Yeah, so a wardrobe change. So we met. We met another doctor today. Her name was Dr. Elliot, and she was pretty. She was pretty nice. Uh, to describe her, I'd have to say she's like one of those ones where you're like, "What? I don't know. What do you want to do? Like, if you had a problem, like, what? I'll give you some options. You choose." And then the doctor before that, I think her name was Dr. Bourne. Dr. Bourne. But she's probably like, "Let's do comfort care. I'll choose comfort care for you." And our doctor, Dr. Lane, I feel like she's like, "Nope. This is what we're going to do." <laughs> You just get your act together, and we're and we're gonna do this. You're gonna toughen up. So, yeah, they're all really different, and it's kind of surprising. But we actually really liked them all. So yeah, if I any of no those problem. three doctors deliver yeah. our baby, we'll be cool. We have one more doctor to meet. Doctor uh, Newton. Newton, I think. So yeah. we're not meeting her next time, though. Next time we're gonna see Doctor Lane again, and um, I guess we'll just see Doctor Newton when we see her. Yeah. Hopefully, it's not when she's. To live in our baby. Yeah. So. <laughs> baby looked good today. We heard heartbeat. They had a really strong heartbeat, so everything's good. So yeah. nothing to worry about. Yeah, we have no concerns at the moment. Candace is a little worried that she's not gonna be in position, but we have plenty of time for that. Yeah. So, so she's she'll definitely position herself well. Yeah. We've got just a couple weeks left. Everything's going smooth. I don't know. Week thirty, we have Maybe. Ten weeks left, maybe a little more. Maybe, maybe less. <laughs> maybe a little less. Don't say that. <laughs> you may not make it forty. But we've got some cool videos coming up for you guys. Um, when my cousin was here for our baby shower, we did a couple of videos that I'm just waiting to share with you, and then um, we're gonna do some other fun stuff. So we're looking forward to keeping you guys interested. <laughs> We're getting, it's getting uh, less exciting, I guess. Well, more exciting that we're having the baby, but less exciting because we don't have much to do. Like, yeah. like we've got our baby got shower done. We've we got, just have to finish buying everything. Yeah, but it's gonna be really good. If you haven't seen Candace's uh, mobile, you should look at. It. <laughs> you should give her some advice on what she should do with it. She tried to make one out of flowers. I tried to make a mobile. And everyone on Instagram said that they liked it. I just needed to add more flowers. Yeah. But I still don't know what I think about it. <laughs> Does it even match the baby's room? I don't know. Now I have to show them. Now well, I have to show them. Well, let's go. I have to show them. Cody brought up the mobile, and so now you have to see it. Okay, this is the baby's room. Ta-da! Look how beautiful. And this is the mobile. It doesn't, it doesn't automatically spin, so that's why. Well, you have to, like, twine it up. You have to spin it up. Yeah, so. Does it even, like, okay, and then this is the stuff we're decorating the room with. Arrows and this pretty little thing that hangs. It says, be still. So, I don't even know if it's going to match the room. Yeah, floral is really in right now, and I don't understand why. You've mentioned but. this before. Well, you guys, let me know what you think about this mobile. I'm going. I'm. If I keep it, I'm gonna add more flowers to it. What else should she add to it other than? Or flowers? should I scrap the whole thing and go with a different idea? I told her she should add some lace ribbon to it, like hanging down. Hanging down, like random colors, maybe the same color. I don't know. You let her know. Comment below. Let us know what you think. Yeah. 